Hey there, Gemini. Welcome. Okay, so this is your bonus. May 2024. Love reading. Let's see what's happening for the Geminis. Oops. The one that one flipped over. Okay, so we have here permanently marked. You left a permanent mark on their heart. They can't be they can't be erased even if they try. You will always be remembered. Ooh. So I guess you're not in contact. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Decisive action. Guess what? Here they come. Rum, 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 rum. <laughs> okay, guys. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it could be anyone. Someone is just all of a sudden going to just show up because they can't stop thinking about you. Ooh. Look at this. We have a wrench. Well, here we have someone on a motorcycle. Maybe they're, maybe they're a motorcycle mechanic. Okay. But you could have someone here that actually uses a wrench in whatever they do for a living. Um, they also could be that they want to make adjustments. They want to um, correct something. All right. Let's see. A plumber, mechanic. Let's get the words. What's the word on this? Knight of Swords is coming rushing to you. We have expect, mm -hmm. always confess. First of all, expect that they're always confused. Always conf expect, always confess. Excited healing. Okay, so expect them to always confess. They're very excited. They want to heal this situation. Okay. So. Let's see what's crossing you now. And this could be some kind of obstacle. Some kind of problem. Let's see. We have here. Ancestral karma. They are clear negative ancestral patterns. That were passed down through generations. Don't rush the journey. Okay. So there's some kind of some kind of difference here or something here that could mean too let's see and we have here oh we have the king of swords quick wit and intellect ah okay well if they're not an air sign they are someone that is probably like an air sign it's like they're very intelligent they like the mental stimulation let's see Ooh, we have the butterfly. There's some kind of transition or change going on. And they are working on something about the ancestors here. So let's see. We have insult. And that's a quick wit, probably. Change keeps the money, the X. Okay, so now this could be for you. Maybe, maybe not with the word. So we have here someone is insulted by something here. Um, maybe the ex keeps the money. Someone could be telling someone to keep the money. You could be keeping the money. You would know that what that means if that is pertaining to your situation. Let's get something on this money one. And we I just said the time is three, three, three. Oh, we have a loan. Well, maybe someone loaned someone money and they're saying no, forget about it. You don't have to pay it back. That could be. Of course, that's not going to be for everyone, but that might be. Okay, so let's see about the past. Choices. There is a choice they have to make. They know time is not on their side. The risk losing you forever if they don't. So this could this is past energy. Okay, let's see. Someone had to make a choice in the past. Could be you too. Ooh, and here's the hangman. Pisces energy. Someone was getting a, a new perspective on something. Someone had to make a choice, but they then they probably had to wait for something, and that gained a new perspective because of it. If it's for you, you know, take it. If not, leave it. Let's see about um, the past here. This is going back farther than the past. Could go way back in the past. It could even go back into a past life. Let's see what wants to come up. Temptation. Each day gets harder and harder to resist. What they know is their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. Ooh. Okay, guys. And this could go back to a past life, too, that this was happening. 
That's why you probably were attracted to each other in this lifetime. So we have here Ten of Cups, Contentment and Joy. Yeah, when you guys were together, there's a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. And I would say in this lifetime and in previous lifetime or times, because it could be more than one lifetime. Okay, now let's look forward to the future. We're going to go out maybe in six months or so. In the future, let's see what happens. We have boundaries. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. So they might be doing something in the future and you might be saying no, 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 no and setting up boundaries. And they're going to respect you for that because they know you're right. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify the boundaries. Let's see why we have that. Ooh, moon illusions. Okay, you know what? They might have been trying to portray something to you, and you knew it was a. It was. I don't know which guy is coming in here, but someone keeps on saying malarkey to me. They know it's malarkey. <laughs> I'm gonna say it because if they say it to me, I say it because it's gonna resonate with someone very strongly. It could be someone that always says malarkey, and it's not a word you hear, so that's why I will repeat it if I hear it. Yeah, so there's some kind of illusion, some kind of something hidden. Pisces energy, a lot of emotions. Mm, someone has a lot of emotions here. They might have kept things secret. There might be something secret about something here. Intuition is very strong too when you get the moon. But the something could be illusion. I'm, I'm getting illusions here, but I'm getting something's being eliminated too. So something is coming out uh, from these illusions. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's coming in in the very near future for you guys. What do we have for the very near future? Brewing up. Be ready to expect the unexpected. Because something is brewing and it's gaining no momentum here. Oh, something's going to happen. Get ready. Okay, let's clarify that. And we have, ooh, we have the emperor, the masculine. So get ready, the masculine's coming in here. Okay, so I think you could expect to hear from this person. They're thinking they're, they're trying to do something here. Okay, so now, and if it's your energy, then maybe you're brewing up something. Let's look at you, though. Who you are. Let's see if we can, if this makes sense. new perspective they gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotage and behavior they're seeing who you really are and they're realizing they effed up they did they did they did let's see see how we got the hangman and we have new perspectives so there's new perspectives things are changing here we have the star universal alignment they've seen you for the star for their wish fulfillment here you are what they always wanted. Okay, now this I'm doing as a blank because I had something else here and it didn't seem to mesh with these cards. So we're going to see what this comes up, what, where we're going with this. It's like a, a free space, so to say, right? Free parking, free space. Let's see. We have here plotting. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. Ooh, they're planning something. They're plotting. Something's happening here. Okay. Well, they're brewing up something. They're plotting something. So there's <laughs> definitely something going on here. Okay. We have here the high priest hidden knowledge. Ooh, secrets. Virgo Cancer energy. They might know something. Or maybe their intuition is very strong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's see here. What are your hopes or fears? Slipped away. Though they never had you, to them you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chances they didn't take. Yeah, this person's really wishing they should have, would have, could have energy all over this reading. Okay. Well, let's see. We have here 
The two of wands, planning and decision. See, they're up to something. Ooh, all these cards are like they're planning something. They're they're looking into doing something here. So they're gonna surprise you somehow. Okay, you know, um, I'm surprised we didn't get the um tower out or even on these um words here. Let's see. What's the possible outcome then? What do we have going on here? So we have here regret. They are having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Insatiable. They have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving for you more and more. Ooh, you got this person going. You're all hot and bothered. Let's see here. We have Twin Flame. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. Okay, this person's coming in. They have to come in because they can't stop. Now we have here at the bottom of the deck that we don't see here is coldness. They feel you're pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you that they're worth keeping. So they feel that you're, you know, you got, probably got tired of waiting. It's like, hey, you know, come on now. Okay, what about the regret here? Ten of Pentacles, ultimate achievement. See, this is, they're wanting everything. They want commitment with you. They want it all with you. Now, let's see about this insatiable. We have the five of wands, conflict and competition. They're going to fight for you. There's something, there might be some other people around the five of wands. That definitely could be some kind of competition, but they're going to fight for you. Okay, and this twin flame. We have Queen of Pentacles, nurturing. They see you as very nurturing, caring. Um, this also could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. That's the first court card we have. And we have five of swords, mind games and control. I don't like that too much. There might be other people. I'm going to have to put some cards on this. Um, let's see what that's about. Let's get something on this Queen of Pentacles here. We have here... Uh, an angel wing, divinely guided. They might see you as an angel, but they see this as a divine connection here. Let's see about this Queen of Pentacles. Oh, there's a tower. I knew a tower had to come in. Tower, finish, denying, thinking. Hmm. Okay, I think this person's denying that this is finished. If you say to them, because they see that you're coming cold here, and they're, they're worried about this, whatever this is, um, but so they're gonna, um, they're they're saying no way, this is not over. They're not gonna let this be over. They're gonna fight for this. Um, they're gonna surprise you with the tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. They're gonna do something that totally is gonna surprise you, it's gonna shock you. And they've been planning this because we keep on getting these cards. They're up to something. They're planning something. Okay, I want to get a couple cards. On this uh, five of swords, mind games and control. I usually see the five of swords, other people being involved and in starting trouble. But let's see what we get on this. So we have here, we have the six of pentacles. Okay, trying to balance things out or making things more even here. We have here the lovers, Gemini energy, right? And then we have here the three of pentacles. They want to work on this with you. And we have the Page of Wands. And they might be wanting to get a message for you. But with the Five of Swords, I, I strongly feel there's something going on that maybe you're unaware of. Because this is what you don't know anyway about other people. So Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to get a charm on this and some words. You know, it's tiny here. Let's see. We have here, oh, we have, yeah, there's going to be communication. Page of Wands does refer to communication. You're going to hear from this person. I think they're going to be trying to get around. I mean, here we have the lovers. They see you as their one here. And also choice with the lovers, right? We have here memories, talk, tower, together. It's, they're coming in with something. They're going to shock you. I don't know what they're doing because it's going to be different for everyone. But they're doing a lot of scheming, a lot of planning, a lot of calculating. I think they might have to get around people or something. Now we're going to see what's going on with this person. Let's throw a couple cards down over here and see what we get for a little extra here. What's going on with them? What is really going on with them? 
Okay, so we have here, they're fixated. Well, they're fixated on you. Okay. Fixated. And they have repelled. Okay. Someone's repelling something here. And then we have irresponsible. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have shocking. Ooh, what is happening? Someone is repelled by someone being irresponsible and it's shocking. Maybe it's just the way this person, you know, it might, I almost feel like other people are totally um, shocked by how this, how much this person is, um, how much this person wants you. They must talk about you all the time where there must be something that's coming up that they just can't stop and it's driving people crazy. So let's see about this. Um, fixated. Let's see about the fixated because they are fixated on you. Let's see. We have here 1111 spiritual awakening. You are the on the right path. See this person here. They feel like no matter what anybody else says. You are their person, period. They don't care what anybody else says. Now, I think other people are repelled by their determination to be with you. Now, we have here brown. Grounding, stability, and foundation. Brown might mean something to someone. Or they feel that, you know, other people might be repelled by the way this person feels. But they feel like you are something that is stable. Something that they can depend on. Now, they're irresponsible. We have... Green, we have prosperity and we have health and we have abundance. Ah, this person is not given to either family or situations uh, that are trying to get their attention because they want to give it to you. And that's why other people are getting involved here. They don't like that. And we have here, feel, oh, look at this. For the bottom, look at that. We have the shocking. And then we have... The veil, veil, and something's hidden. So I think this person's going to shock people by what, and they're going to shock you too. I don't know what they're going to do, but I get ready to be surprised. There's something shocking coming out here. They're planning something. Whoo! Gotta let us know what it is, because it's going to be different for everyone, of course. Let's see what signs you're dealing. With. Placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have here Scorpio. Gemini, there you go. Taurus. Scorpio. Virgo. Bottom of the deck, we have Virgo again. Wow, so two Scorpios, two Virgos. Holy moly. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future, Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo, and Virgo. Then we do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have D, L, R, A, G, G, Z, P, D, D, K. Letters we have today are D, L, R, A, G, G, Z, P, D, D, K. All right, guys. So, that this is a general reading. Only take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate with you at all and you just checked out your son, you could check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, because I am doing all the um, signs since it is a monthly bonus. <clears throat> so I will do all of them. Um, I'm still trying to bring up the other signs. Your sign does pretty well, but the other signs, I'm trying really hard not to discontinue doing some of the signs. But I really can't put energy into something 
that is not paying back here and so people don't want to watch the signs i'll put the time and attention to the ones that will get the the views here okay so but thank you so much for all your love and support i truly appreciate you guys i love you so much thank you for your likes your shares your subscribes your comments your super thanks and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you